All right, well, I've finished my electrodes, so I want to show you that part of it. Actually, first I wanted to just mention how I'm kind of surprised at how quickly this all came together. I mean, I just, I first heard of TDCS last summer on this Radio Lab episode, Dine Volt Nirvana. Uh, but I never got around to doing anything about it. And then just a few days ago, I watched or listened to this podcast, Joe Rogan podcast with Dr. Rhonda Patrick, and they talked about it in there. So I thought, hey, you know, I'm going to do something about that. So Saturday night, I went to the electronics market here in Taipei, spent about five bucks on components, and, they, and got enough to make not one but two TDCS devices. Sunday, I put the circuit together, which I, you know, was in my last video. And then yesterday, Monday, I made the electrodes, and uh, it was I didn't finish till evening, so I didn't want to try it out at night. I thought it might keep me up at night, so um, waited till this morning, and it worked like a charm. So um, yeah, just you know, three four days, and boom, you're in business for five bucks. I mean, if you didn't have the breadboard and the and the uh, multimeter, you, you know, okay, you might have to spend forty or fifty total. But this is not prohibitively expensive at all. So, all right, how did I make these uh, um, electrodes? You may recognize this as the rubber gasket from a kitchen sink. That's exactly what it is. And of course, the sponge is just an ordinary sponge. This happens to be kind of a fine grain, you know, some are more coarse grain pores then uh, this is a pretty fine one anyway so I just took a, a bit of a, I think this is 22 gauge wire and uh, stripped the ends and I actually tied tied it around the you know between two of the holes here just to kind of keep it firmly in place and then it left a kind of a spear which you know when you put the sponge in there you kind of actually jam it into the sponge like a hypodermic needle and uh, yeah then you just I've got my salt water here you just dip it in and and then you, you want to rent you know wring it out you don't want it to be too wet but then you don't want it to be too dry either I got it a little too dry the first time and I was only getting about mm, 1.6 milliamps through the circuit so I made it a little damper and that got it up to about 1.9, which is, you know, close enough. Um, when it's in use, when it's on my head, I actually only get about 1.75 milliamps uh, going through me, which, you know, I guess that's, that's plenty. If I ever want it to be two, I can go and rejigger the circuit and, you know, so it puts out, say, 2.3 milliamps and... But I think 1.75 1, 1 is plenty. So, all right, how did I make the rest of this? Um, oh, the other thing I did was uh, the other end of the 22 gauge wire. I kind of put a little curly cue on there so that the alligator clips would have a you know better grip on it. The rest of it is uh, just a, an old six foot. Um, audio extension cable with uh, eighth inch phono jacks it, I had, it was damaged so I just cut it at the place where it was damaged and this is the short end um, and the way I'm using it is uh, if you look at the there's three segments here the, the one closest to the base that's the ground connection then the middle segment is the right audio channel and the tip is the left audio channel so I'm using the, the base segment as ground and the red the uh, tip is my incoming um, current from the uh, from the device and so that just goes basically you know, I'll show you what uh, I tied a knot in the other end of the audio cable so that I could run my alligator clips through there because this the wire in this thing is so extremely delicate that I you know you don't want to be holding up the entire weight of this six foot audio cable on just those little tiny wires so that's why I put the knot in there to 
to hold it up and there's also a little little clip so I can what I do is I just clip that this whole thing to my uh, shirt so there's no weight holding you know pulling on this on this joint at all and nor neither is there any weight pulling on my electrodes trying to pull them off of my you know out of my head um, the first time I tried it of course oh well I should say how I use the electrodes the uh, cathode which is the other one um, but anyway the, the cathode I just slide under my shirt and it rests on my right shoulder and uh, just my shirt is enough to keep it in place and the other one I use the stocking cap to hold it on the you know, upper you know left corner of my forehead um, but the first time I tried it of course I didn't use the stocking cap I just kinda held it up to my forehead you know just in case <laughs> you know just in case I made some catastrophic error in my calculations <laughs> but uh, no it worked fine and uh, I'm totally happy with it um, I did it for about 25 minutes this morning at uh, like I say it was 1.75 milliohms or milliamps and um, like they say this there is kind of a uh, a mild itching sensation where the um, you know the electrode makes contact but it's not it's not enough to be distracting I, I didn't find that to be so so uh, yeah it, it works great I'm very happy with it um, and I'm going to you know the next project for me probably in a couple of weeks, once I can track down one of those uh, uh, meters, the, I want to get a, a three milliamp uh, view meter like uh, like uh, John Camerata had in his video. Um, and when I get that, then I'll put all this in a box and solder it together. Um, and not just because it looks nice, but also for convenience. Because one thing I noticed is what when you're using the device you're stuck in place right if you need to go to the bathroom or get something out of the fridge you either gotta wait or you gotta unplug and then come you know but if it was all in a box you could just you know take it with you and walk around do whatever you want so that's uh... i'll probably won't make another video until i get to that point but uh... so far I'd say it's a it's a big success. I'm very happy with it, and uh, yeah. So, good luck to everybody uh, who wants to do one too. Uh, my experience has been nothing but positive. Good luck.